So in the summer of 2019, we had a group of um, architects from Italy and they brought with them some 3D printers and we were able to produce a 3D printed render of the Bosnian Pyramid Valley um, based on Google Earth topographic maps. We also cross-referenced it with the LiDAR scan that we gained in 2012 and this gave us higher definition um, around the pyramid structures because the Google Earth image is uh, not so high definition. Now what this allows us to do is to visualise the alignments between the structures. You see here on the topographic map you have the Sun, the Moon and the Dragon Pyramid. This forms a near equilateral pyramid. And then you also have a circumscribed circle and the second highest peak in that area, Chetnitsa, falls on that circle. Now the highest peak in the area is Kurtnitsa. And if you draw a line from the peak of Kurtnitsa, Chetnitsa and extend that line, it goes right to the centre of that equilateral triangle. Now from there, there are, as you can see, many more alignments between the different structures in the Pyramid Valley. Now this is something most likely that nature cannot do. Not when it's a perfect geometric shape like that. So the topographic map is an educational tool. It allows people to visualise that Bosnian Pyramid Valley. Here we have um, a geological map of the Ravna tunnels. This is the Ravna conglomerate, the extent of the Ravna conglomerate. So we expect we will find passages similar to the Ravna tunnels in this region here. This is Ravna 3, where we've just been. This is the entrance to the Ravna tunnels, where we were earlier. And it's likely that at some point in the south, both the tunnels at Ravna 3 and Ravna will connect along here and head towards the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Here is a geological cross-section of the Ravna conglomerate. So before the valley was incised, this conglomerate would have extended across here like this. And one of the hypotheses is that the Ravna tunnels are so old that they existed before the creation of the valley. So the tunnels would have gone across here through this rock unit and then when the valley was incised that section of the tunnels was destroyed, completely lost. And so finding the dry walls in Ravna 3, similar to the dry walls at Ravna, really does support that hypothesis that the Ravna tunnels are older than the incision of the valley, which would have happened tens of thousands of years ago, likely at the end of one of the last ice ages, when there was a lot of meltwater and a torrent of water came down the hills and removed that material.